right, guys. So please make sure this weekend you are getting your work done. Um, I already started the map by magic. Um, so we got the caucus mountains so please make sure you uh, remember that on Monday you have vocab 1 through 10 Tuesday you have 11 through 20 Wednesday you have 21 through 30 you do have a focus and spice do do not wait till Wednesday night to get everything done that makes everything miserable this is Constantinople we got Baghdad We have Jerusalem. Medina. Mecca. We got the Red Sea. Arabian Sea. Bay of Bengal. Delhi. We got the Hindu Kush Mountains. Himalayas. We have the South China Sea. Pacific Ocean. This is Korea, this is Japan, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes. Is this not part of the I don't think so. So 10 boxes. First one is Byzantine Empire, because the Byzantine Empire collapses in 1453. The end of period three is 1450. So that's why they're still around. Are they going to be influential? No. Nope. nope. Not at this point. At the beginning of it, are they influential? Yes. yes. When they have what major leader? Justinian. Of Rome. Yep. I don't need any comments from you there, Vance. Area of Abbasid. Ask someone next to you. Abbasid Empire under... You can sit right next to me, Antonio, in your old seat there, boss. Under Seljuk. Control. What up? It's nice to be back in the old spot, huh? Oh, what were you? One more over. Sultanate of Delhi. Then we have Canate of. How much time is Ren's test take up? Like the whole test. Like test or? Ooh, a quiz. Or today. Today? Oh. Like 15 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, then we break down to Okay. In my class, everything we do is the whole topic. Oh, yeah. We'll do like, like one we do like a four question quiz and it takes like 30 minutes. Oh, you like lost food? Yeah. Yeah. I thought I was a distraction. Because I talk to Ren all period. <laughs> we get behind every time and Cassie just do this down here. Why? Does he just get off topic? Yes. Yeah. Tamerlane's Empire. Do you think he watches my videos? No. That's factual. In 8th period, do I get off topic? Yes. Yes. I complain about... I try to get 8th period to turn to honors every day. What? What? I can't hear a damn thing you're saying to me. 
Under of area obviously the Empire under Seljuk control. Khanate of the Great Khan, yeah. No, it says it was the second. It's Iconate of Persia. Oh, I thought it was the second. Alright, here we go. Byzantine Empire for me is gonna be purple. You people stress me out. Here we go. Jesse, I'm pretty sure my entire eighth period would tell you that I get off topic very easily as well. It's called eighth period, boss. Sultanate of Rum is going to be dark green for me. Abbasid is going to be yellow for me. Vance, where are you going for homecoming dinner? I'm going to a wedding. I'm going to be a Oh, nice. Wow. Is it your brother or something? Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Where's the wedding? Why are yeah. you here? That's super hard. Um, the rehearsal dinner is until later. No, I know, but like, don't you have like wedding stuff to be helping with? No, not really. I don't know what they thought I was doing. Are you throwing the bachelor me. party? I'm not sure. No, that would happen <laughs> before. <laughs> <laughs> and I know exactly what he wants to be talking about the eight. And I was like, yeah, I remember that. Except he got married to her. Like, really. How old is he? 31. Oh. Yeah, uh, Yeah, they should have already had it, people. <laughs> He's 31? Yeah. My sister's 32. And you're 16? Yeah. That's a damn, that's a big gap there, boss. Just like, take care of me. Oh, no. I know, don't. There we go. There's your Abbasid. Okay, I'm going to jump around a little bit because it'll be easier later. How's that? Where's the Right here. Alright, I'm going to do the Sultan of Delhi. She's going to be this light purple. What are you doing? I know, it, it hates me. Vance. <laughs> Vance. Are you okay? Are you under a lot of pressure? <laughs> I am not your bro. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> this is the iconet of Changati. I'm jumping around a little bit because it'll be easier later. Iconet of Changati. And then I'll do the Golden Horde next. Now the Golden Horde is Russia. Now, have you ever wondered why the Russians are kind of weird? In regards to, they are kind of weird. They are completely not like other European countries, and they're definitely not like other Asian countries. The reason is, is because the Mongols are going to control them for a significantly longer time than they do any other territory. Um, so, what's the light purple? The light purple is going to be Sultan of Delhi. <laughs> Kellen, is that you? What's wrong? <laughs> the blue is the icon of icon of the great Khan is going to be Guys, what is the problem? The green is the golden horde. Because of Vance. <laughs> That's the iconet of the great con.
What are you talking about, Payton over there? I'm just gonna put it down a little. I'm getting straight up bullied by sophomores. Okay. Are we ready for the hard part? No. This is the hard part? No, this is the easy part. What? Freaking out? This? So I can enter Chingati. I don't know. Chingati. Where? Are, there's no other blue. All right, here we go. Okay, so my area under the Sultanate uh, Seljuk Turks is going to be red with lines through it. Doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> Do you see how dramatic they are? When I tell you it gives me anxiety, my first and period, second period are just so anxious. By the way, by the afternoon, my kids are just like, okay, cool. Like, they're way chiller in the morning. Yeah, a lot of them are tired. A lot of them are tired. A lot of them have also gotten ours. Like well, then don't let them do it. Well, that's mean. But that's mean. I thought you don't want to be stressed. <laughs> yeah, we're helping you. We're helping you. Oh, please. I want to vomit. Oh, if you get them stressed, then they move back to honors. And she just I know. I would love to go to honors. How many times a day do you say I'm like human? I have a hand. I feel like uh, it's usually only about four times when I do a map. All right, here we go. This is going to be the Iconate of Persia. Now, the Iconate of Persia is important because the Mongols love them. And what do they take from them? We well, talked about it. Bureaucracy. No. The bureaucracy. Very nice. They're going to conquer their bureaucracy, and they're going to force them to go with them to China. They're going to capture like 400 people and say, come with us. We're going. And that's exactly what they do. Well, like government officials. Wait, wait, wait. What? Hey, and what are you talking crap about? She wants to learn about the stories instead of agriculture. No, I'm asking if we do more than that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? Everybody's acting this way. It's, I think, here's the Wait, where's the hill coming? Right here. Okay. Oh, and then the next great. one, Tamerlan is blue. Where does the Tamerlan go? Vance! No! <laughs> That's fine. Wait, is that Do the best you can, Mason. It's fine. All right, you got one minute to color this side because the other side is hard too, so. Yeah. What? How do you write the last one? I'm going to leave after Ren's fourth. Yeah. I think that's going to be no, the biggest question. Like Keep in mind, I have stopped recording first period. I used Why? to record them. Oh Why my they god. They do not. They're just so dramatic. <laughs> 
my god. That's an owl this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was walking class at dawn, and I was walking up, and then the owl swooped down. It was a little owl. And it swooped down, and I thought I saw a lizard, but I didn't catch it. I saw an like, armadillo. Like, I found a bunch of caterpillars on my, like, plants that are by my window. Oh my gosh. I thought it was, like, those are... No, they're like, cinnamon. They're cinnamon. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh no, they're weird. All right, we're flipping it. I, I can't. Oh Hi, your other side is complicated. Do we have to color? This side is complicated. Flip it. Let's go. Uh, Hi, you want to finish the other side, don't you? Yeah. Yes, you do. Atlantic. Stop. You're up. Venice. Well, no, because we're gonna do another map that has the colonies and stuff like that, and you're gonna see the in the Incans and the Aztecs on that too. So, I uh, huh? No. <laughs> no, no. Just do like a test run, and, like I don't know. Post it up there. It's like a joke. No, they're a mess. They're just so dramatic. Post it as a non-example. What not to do? Overall drive. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, they're just jealous. Yeah, they're just Yeah. Yeah. I will tell you my afternoon classes have started asking when I'm going to record them and they feel left out that they don't get recorded. And I was like I thought you said that Yeah, but now we do get recorded. And now we're like Wait, are we the recorded class now? Yes. I like Guys in the background, I'm like, this is my class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we also also have a fan of I'm gonna say, Kill one. Because at one point, I hear, like, you go, Arima. Mom loves it. Awesome. Mom loves it. Oh, we're going to go to Arima. Where is it? She's not here. That's so sad. Molly. She's killed the game out. Mom died. You're going to hear us and be like, oh. Yeah. We're going to kill the game. Oh, my God. Maldive Islands, by the way. South China Sea is over here. Wait, why do we leave them in some everywhere? What? Because you need to know where things are. Because that's where they are. Oh. Sea of Japan. Pacific Ocean. Because if you can say what body of water is near something or that they're transversing and stuff, that's evidence, my love. And sometimes they'll reference places by saying, like, bodies of waters or rivers and stuff like that. So you can, it's all evidence. And don't you think it's important for you to know where these things are? Yes. Oh, my God. You're such a hater, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you can explain no, we're not. What's going on there at this uh, there's people wandering. No, that's in your Oceana. Sumatra. The British don't feed them. The British aren't there yet. Um, they have a huge population growth, and then uh, they can't support it, so they have to eat them each other. Does that No. Yes. No. Okay. Yeah, we know of. <laughs> babies are ugly. Yeah. Jesse, you cannot say babies are ugly and then a breath before say do they eat them. You just can't. You're implying. You just can't say. Hong Zhu. Q U A N Z H O U. Uh, so wait, Q U Q U Q U Q U Q U I Q U Q U Q U Q U Marco Polo. Three. 
Marco Polo's Travels. And then Iban Batua. Wait, he's still like exists. Yeah, it's period three, so he's wandering around. Wait, what is it say? Iban Batua. Is it his travels? Yeah. Why are there so many people named like. There's not. These are the literally yeah, the only people you know. Oh, because like it's like John, it's like Steve. Thank you for sharing, Avery. All right, here we go. Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm blind. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm sorry. I'd be scared. What's the biggest empire? Mongols! That we Mongols have the largest empire in the history of the world. Look at this! Russia in winter. I thought the British Empire was there. No. They have a bunch of territories, but they're not large mass. How long did it last? It lasts for about 400 years. Well, it starts breaking off as soon as they make it, but parts of it does. But this is, uh, uh, right, this is, this is his empire. This is the big as it gets, and this is all in Genghis Khan. Yeah, like all of Asia. And Middle East. Oh, yeah. It flirts with Europe. Because yeah. uh, so you have the Hindu Kush on one side and you have the Himalayas on the other side, and they already control the Silk Road. They already got all this silk and all that stuff coming from it. And it just was kind of like, meh. You know, they already got a lot going on. And to traverse those mountains is really hard. And they already got the wealthiest part. Because India is very wealthy, of course, but China is more wealthy, so they're kind of like, meh. Like and that's why when Ren tells you that they're, the Mughal Empire is Mongols, it's not. They're gunpowder empires. They're not Mongols, as you can see. Are there Mongols in India? No. no. So I pointed it out to him that m they may call themselves Mughal, Mongol, they may call themselves Mongols, but they're not really Mongols. It's kind of like how the Sassanids call themselves descendants of the Ahmeds, even though they're not. Yes? Yeah. It's like an homage, but, like, they're not. So, like, how the Augustus is like, oh, yeah, I'm related to the Caesar. Yeah, it's cool. like a lie. It's not true at all. There's no Mongols in, uh, in uh, India. All right. This is going to be hard, and you're going to lose your damn minds. But can we, like, kind of keep it calm? No. No. Sorry, I go slow. Why? Does he just go like a bunch of, like, stuff? Yeah. I want to see where he goes. Okay. Now, I'm not going in order of sorts. Because, like, I don't know his story that well. I, I have not read his book. I also personally... Yeah, he wrote a book. Okay, we're going to start at the end of his journey, though. <laughs> so, Marco Polo is going to make it all the way to China. He's going to befriend, uh, befriend uh, Kublai Khan, who is Genghis Khan's son, like his 15th son or something like that. Anyway, he has like 190 children or something. Yes. Does he like have kids and like... Hi, should we cover content? Maybe. So, Kublai Khan and our boy Marco Polo are going to become friends. Well, Marco Polo pisses off our boy Kublai Khan, and he gets thrown into jail. So when they say Marco Polo, it's because Marco Polo was writing letters back to Europe, telling him all the things that he's seeing, and was spilling all this juicy uh, gossip about it. All the tea. I was going to say tea, but then I was like, I don't want to be like a huge loser. I did. Um, so once the letters stopped coming, people were like, oh, my God, what has happened to our boy, Marco Polo? And they started saying, Marco. I'm just kidding. They really didn't start saying that. But. They all said it at the same time. Oh, all blue like a storm, it go away. All the people in the world. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. 
So I'm just going to fan out from here. These are all the places that he's been. So when he comes back, he goes to Baghdad, goes up through the Black Sea, and then comes back down to Venice. Venice is his home. Okay, so when he leaves, he comes over here. Now, keep in mind, he is also going to see a bunch of territories all around here as well. So he kind of sees a bunch of stuff. Now, he's also going to go to China via the Silk Road. So, I mean, he does get to see a large amount of the world. So Marco Polo, so he gets arrested by Kublai Khan and he gets thrown in jail for five years, which is why people are like, oh, where's Marco Polo? Because he's in jail and he stops writing his letters to Europe. Um, while he's in jail, he writes a book called The Travels of Marco Polo. Very creative title, I'm aware. Um, and writes a book about all the crazy things that he saw in his lifetime. And about the time he finishes his book, he's like, all right, let's break out of here. So he, uh, so he breaks out of jail and sneaks his way back. Is that what you call the Marco Polo's travels? Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. We're just going to start um, a band or two over here because it's just kind of easier because I can only imagine how you people are going to lose your damn mind. Now, Aban Batua is going to travel all over the place, of course. Okay, he is going to be wandering around a lot longer than our boy Marco Polo. Marco Polo likes living in a life of luxury, so he doesn't really leave the Mongols. Until he gets thrown in jail, of course. You know, as you do. Oh, we didn't label Mecca. Hello. Mecca, Medina... We got Aiden, which is right over here, A E D I N. Wait, Yes. I'm aware I've met Aiden. This is your red, see? I realized it was dumb after I Do the best you can. I am not expecting it to be perfect. <laughs> Are they alive during the reign of the Mongols? A Bambatua? No, he's pre Mongols. But I think it is important that you see that, I mean, the man had led a pretty damn impressive life. Yeah. I mean, do you think you're going to see this much territory in 2018? No. So to be traveling this much in this part of the world, I mean, that's really impressive. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, that's what I imagine. All right, that's it. Why is that so weird? Wait, does this look right? That looks very nice. As long as you try and you get the gist of it. Because, guys, the reason is it doesn't have to be perfect, and that's why, like, sometimes mine aren't even perfect. But, like, it's all about just seeing and understanding the gist of the case. As you can see, that our boy uh, Marco Polo is really just going to go to China and come back. Can we agree? Our boy Aban Batua is going to really see the whole world. And that's why when we look at him and he makes comments and makes uh, comparisons, do we hold that to higher weight? Yes. yes, of course, because he's seen all of these places and he's been to all these places. So, And that's why we hold these two as important because they're good outside um, eyes on the culture and what's happening in all these areas. And that's why our AP World Teachers everywhere love Aban Batua because, I mean, he's been everywhere. I'm never going to travel as many of these places as he's been. And the fact that he takes such detailed notes and the fact that he's not really that judgy. I mean, he's kind of judgy, but, like, that he's just writing down what he sees is really impressive. How is anyone doing anything in, like, Greenland and Iceland? There, I mean, there's people there. Have you ever seen Braveheart? Yes. It's, that's what they're living like over there. Have you ever seen the beginning of Braveheart? Yes. 
When they're all like dirty and they live in these little huts. <laughs> That's Braveheart. <laughs> That's what's happening. Braveheart's on HBO now, like all the time, and I don't know why, but I keep watching it every time it comes on. It really is like on every day. Who determined it was like a good like person to listen to? Like Who? Because I can just start traveling and no one would care, but I've I've Because this was before it. like everyone had seen everything. Yeah, this is before. So, like, anyone who was wandering or like traveling and like sending information back was like they were paying attention to or, Yeah. Like, for sure. You, you send back to like the king or like the ruler, Yeah, like, for sure. I mean he's a big deal. Someone published it after the fact, I think. Okay, thank you, I'm just saying. Well, he's famous in the imperial classroom. Yeah, he is. How he made his money, though? Like, how did you make money? Hi, I don't know. Google the man. He just, like, walked around and was like, also, hi, can I call you? Huh? Why didn't you call me? Because I guess that's a hell of a long way. Remember, they originate from here, Claire. And they found Well, they're obviously pretty ambitious. They are very ambitious. But it's all one guy. It's all Genghis Khan. And after Genghis Khan died, everyone's like, oh shit, I guess we gotta maintain this. And keep in mind, they're really good at conquering, but they're not really good at managing. That's what it is. Yeah, I feel like you should know that you don't have that skill until you start conquering. Well, Genghis Khan did. Jesse just said, oh, that's what we got there. Alright. Michael Scott is so real.